Hi, I'm Kritika Varagur. I'm an American journalist based in Jakarta, Indonesia, and I've been supported by the Pulitzer Center in my reporting on Salafism in Southeast Asia. Now, Salafi Islam is a strain of fundamentalist Sunni Islam that um, came out of Saudi Arabia in the 18th century. And the reason I was looking into it in Southeast Asia is that well, I moved to Indonesia in fall 2016 to research extremism and jihadism. Um, and as I was looking into this, I found that a lot of the top jihadists and extremist schools and institutions and hardliners in Indonesia had some connection to Saudi money, whether it was that they studied in Saudi Arabia or had gone to a school that was funded by Saudi Arabia in Indonesia or had been to Saudi Arabia many times and so forth. I was confused by this connection because they're not really close to each other geographically. So I asked the Pilsner Center to support my reporting into what Saudi money was doing in Indonesia and what effects it was having. And what I found over the course of my reporting of one and a half years was that um, it was a really stunning systematic campaign that had been in place for over five decades where Saudi Arabia has invested millions of dollars in Indonesia, which is the world's largest Muslim majority country, to spread its brand of uh, intolerant and somewhat puritanical Islam in Indonesia, which has had traditionally a more syncretic and moderate slash relaxed form of Islam. And the results it was having were pretty stunning. The rise of Islamist parties, um, of jihadist cells, and so forth. And I was really grateful to the Pulitzer Center for their support because I got to see and write about some of its effects firsthand, like how Saudi Arabia sets up a school in, you know, in a random island, or where it's, uh, you know, where its university graduates go, how its scholarship programs work, and so forth. Uh, so it was really a privilege to be able to report some of this firsthand and bring it to light because it's a systematic campaign and it shares features across the world because Indonesia is by no means the only country where this is happening. So in the course of my um, reporting, I traveled from Sumatra to Lombok, which are you know various islands across Indonesia and found traces of Saudi money everywhere and published my work in places like the Atlantic and Foreign Policy and The Guardian. Um, bringing some of this to, you know, American and world readers for the first time. And I think it's been an amazing journey, and I don't think it's over yet, but what I've been able to f report on so far, thanks to Pulitzer Center's support, has been extremely interesting beyond, you know, what I expected. So I hope to continue doing this work, and stay tuned.